We actually, we have our, the first thing we're doing today is selecting the English team. We have to select our English squad for the South American, I don't even know what it is. The South America, the, the, the Europe South American championship thing. Yeah, it's the finalissima. It's us and Brazil, the champions of Europe against the champions of uh, South America. Let's look at the uh, English national team pool. Oh, my Ted Kurds on the team. That's nuts. All right. Um, international selection reports. All right, let's start with the goalkeepers. Uh, literally, the first thing we have to do today is put together. Why would we not have our best goalkeepers on the team? Why do we only have minimum of three goalkeepers in the squad? How is this even possible? This guy's under a bid from me, which, like, obviously, Ted Kurd's going to stay in the national team. Why are we selecting Etienne Green? What have what, What's wrong with Alex Gascoigne of Newcastle? He's uh, Newcastle's backup. Why, why does England not have any good goalkeepers? Oh, Ramsdale's still here. Well, you got to bring Aaron Ramsdale, dude. Do I, though? Thomas Westwood, who I've always thought was good. I, I'll tell you one thing. Etienne Green is not in my national team. I'll, I will tell you one thing. What about Terrence Lloyd? Okay. Gascoigne wanted by Villa. Wait, the, dude, the English team does not have a great goalkeeper. Josh Murray. I'm kidding. Josh Murray is a great goalkeeper. He's not even the starter. Bro, his agreed playing time is domestic cup goalkeeper. Who the hell is the starter on Arsenal, man? Mattia Bianconi? Maybe? Yeah, it's Mattia B they They've got two of the ten best goalkeepers in the world. There's no way. The Murray guy is fantastic. Like, he is legitimately England's starting goalkeeper, and he doesn't start for Arsenal. No, so I have an open spot. I will bring... I'm bringing Ted Kurd. I think... Uh, that's... I mean, Sean Davies. Do you play? No, you, you're on Liverpool. There's no way you're a starter. Every English goalkeeper is a backup. It's like the U.S. national team. How is that possible? Tomek, thank you for the five months. Isn't Westwood a starter? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he's like... No. He was a starter at Middlesbrough in the Prem for one season where he dropped the 6.49, got relegated, and then bought by Leeds and brought back to the Prem. So he's not... Whatever. I am bringing... All right, guys. Ramsdale or Alex Gascoigne? Those are our star... Ramsdale was... He has over 100 caps. He has been the starter for... I'm bringing Ramsdale. I need the... Exp you know, we want the experience on our team. Ramsdale, Ted Kurd, Josh Murray. I'm starting Josh Murray, but that's my team. All right, we're going to start with like a pretty basic 4 3 3. Um, so let's work on our defense next. Uh, uh, Actually, we need to figure out our midfield situation first. So let's just work on strikers. We're going to need three strikers, and what I want is sorted by star rating. So we have an international selection. Rod Reynolds is not selected. My question would be, why is Rod Reynolds not selected? Because this guy seems uh, pretty good. Uh, he was just purchased by Man City for $92 million in January from Bournemouth after dropping a couple of impressive goal-scoring campaigns. Freak athlete. Freak athlete. King, thank you so much for 13 months, dude. How do we not bring him? So, like left wing, a left footed left wing. Then there's Jake Wright, who is a right wing with buckets of pace and dribbling and, and, and such. He's worth $300 million. They only paid 65 million for him. So that seems like a pretty good deal. Remy folds. How does he have 14 caps? This guy's never leaving my team. No shot. All right, so Phil Foden, you still got it? Oh, he has still got it. Phil Foden, under 33 caps, 48 goals, been at Man City his entire career, still plays regularly, dropping great ratings in the Prem. So right wing, like obviously is Phil Foden. Foden. 
All right, so they have Robbie Black. <laughs> yep. Robbie Blackburn, uh, absolutely. That is an athlete with elevation and facilitation and off the ball and ball control and finishing. I have no idea how this guy hasn't been in the team more, but he played a lot for Arsenal, plays a lot for Wolves. Um, yeah, that's um, that's significant. Okay. The Rash Daddy. Um, yeah. 35 years old. Six, he's 600 appearances for Manchester He scored 23 goals last year. The Rash Daddy. 101 caps, 43 goals. Impact sub. I, I see him as an impact sub. Unless we see somebody else that's better than him. I don't think he'll end up being the starter. And we do have Rod Reynolds. I don't like it. Frank Ross. Big, tough, jumping reach dependent guy. Headed to Southampton after this season. Playing at AC Milan, which if I'm upkeeping the traditions of English managers, I can't call him up because he doesn't play in England. Graham Dodds. Ooh, strong lad. Been giving it the business for Bournemouth. Had a big season last year. Kane Hadlow. Can't jump though. Yeah, I mean, there's none of these guys are taking my breath away. I'll put it that way. Uh, Mika Beereth, 30 year old English forward, who is apparently a real player. He's been at Roma the last couple of years and had a very, very good time there. Now, Dave Ramsbottom, dude, played at Tigris in freaking Mexico. Uh, for three years until Lester brought him back for 21 million. This guy, what a route back to the prem. Friggin' Austin FC to Tigris. And then he's come back into the Premier League. That's pretty crazy. Emery, uh, see, this guy's just better. Emre Tezgel is probably English national team material. He's got either foot, can finish strength and size and a little slower than I'd like. But right now, he's the next best striker I've seen. And that makes sense that he was called up. Tammy Abraham is retiring. There we go. Kofi Adai. This guy's legit. I imagine there's going to be more wing players around. But we need a third striker. And I am a little sad that that person doesn't seem to be on this list. We've got two, right? But where is the third one? I might go with Graham Dodds. Uh, no, Frank Ross. I'm going to go with Frank Ross. You want to die? You want Kofi? Kofi, you die or Frank Ross? The wings. Oh, there's Bakayo Saka. With 112 caps and 44 goals. He's only 31. Jaden San... Oh, mama. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Jaden Sancho is a baller. Mason Mount. Only 34. Plenty of time left. Do we have a young winger? I mean, Rod Reynolds is clearly that... The guy that they're, like, out on. Harvey Elliott is on the team. Oh, well, he's at 29 caps at 30. Playing for Leipzig. 29, got 56 caps in the national team. Long, long time Liverpool representative. I don't see him here. Noni Matoeke. He's still good. Got one cap. Um, no left, right sided guys that have to play in the center. So we do have Declan Rice. Are we going to keep Declan around? PSG man, Declan Rice. Probably. Oh, Trent. Oh, he's a little slow. He's 34. 26-year-old Tony Phillips. It's a very good put a lid on it type of player. Emil Smith Rowe, 14 caps. I think those days are behind him. 
So Devin Nixon's affordable for Taunton. Yeah, he is actually, isn't he? 15 to 22 million from Rangers. Serious money involved. Problem if he, he's, if he was left footed, I'd be all over it, but he's not. Defense. Here we go. Jake Wright can actually play inverted wing back off the left, which is disturbing. Uh, Reese James is not in the team, which is insane. Um, right back, Reese James. Yeah, Mount, I think I may swap Mountain for Declan, but Declan is just like the perfect anchor man, halfback kind of player. He's not perfect. I mean, he's slow. But yeah, Reese is more athletic than Trent right now, so he gets that spot. Ball playing defender, Mark Gwey. Gwey's good. He's he's definitely good. This is our right. This is our other right back. Maybe time to bring the next generation through. Uh, he might be better than Reese James now. There, do, 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 do. You are Greg Smith, a tremendous fullback. So we, once again, as is English tradition, have too many good right backs. Gary Wood. Dang it. Somebody play left back, please. Dude, what happened to English center backs? You know what I'm saying? What happened to proper English center backs? We don't have like a world, world class center back. Oh, this guy's all offense. This is this guy is no defense whatsoever. Tristan Lloyd. I would love a McGuire or Stones. Oh, Jacob Flitton. All of a sudden. Now I think we take uh, Edwards and move him here. A player that is very much talented enough to be on the team. I am not going to like our center backs, am I? Elshad Lindsay. Elshad Lashley. This guy said his name wrong. That's why he's not as good as I want him to be. Elshad Lashley as an England center back. Alfie good. An Alfie on Inter. Perfect. Okay, starting at the top. Mark Gwey, the 32-year-old who's clearly been a long-time preferred center back. He, unfortunately, is absolutely one um, right center back. When we look at the other guys on our team, we're not going to find perfect center backs. I like going just last names. Honestly, I'm going to make it Tristan Lloyd. I legitimately think he's better than, um, oh, dang it. Elsa Lashley and Tristan Lloyd, not Alfie Dorrington and not Fakayo. Kofi Adai, and that should be the 23. So we are removing Imre Tezgel. Because Adai is a more similar striker to Blackburn, so if we come up with the one tactic, then we're going to want to play our forward in that tactic. We have selected our first England team. Bro, we have the best payroll to turnover ratio in the league. Our payroll is 27% of our turnover right now. Poggers, we have a lot of room to grow. Heard close to signing. I am just going to sign him. We are just going to sign him. $6 million transfer for Ted Kurd to be our first choice goalkeeper next year. Not counter press, but distribute quickly and look to counter. Um, sagging, obviously, in the midfield. Very aggressive wings. Meet them up the field first. Um, we are going to go with the higher tempo, shorter passing directness. I think it'll work wonders because we do have tremendous ability on the ball. So do they. It's going to be a very good match. It's us against freaking Brazil, for crying out loud. Uh, in pass into space is going to be on or off. I oh, know. This is one of my England's coach since last Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Set piece takers. 
I think we might have saved enough that it's okay. Let's just start the game before anything else happens. The South American European International Super Cup. Zeeland Vanderhorst at the England helm, dude. Oh, wow. Neil Harper is debuting in the England team. I didn't know that I was giving him his debut. What a tackle by Mark Guay. Thank you, because that was annoying. Oh, slick pass, Jaden Sancho. Getting it behind, Romeo folds. Way to battle, Blackburn, way to battle. Phil Foden, he's got him. No, he doesn't. Oh, he got him. Jude's got him. It's Blackburn. Oh, nice save. Now we're getting countered. That was like by far the best chance of the game. Our sub for Bellingham is Alex Scott, which, oh my goodness. I thought he was on. I totally thought he was on. Wow, three minutes and all of a sudden we are, we are opening up. I flay belligerent offside. That boy Harper, oh, Bellingham again. Harvey Elliott gets it up to Blackburn. Safe hands, Murray, safe hands. Oh my. I don't know if I've ever seen that exact mistake in this game. Literally throws it out and just causes a disaster. Throws it to the forehead of his center back in a contested header. That is a nightmare situation for Harper to be in, and Bellingham has to try and shield it. He can't. That is not the position to try to make that pass from, brother. Oh, my goodness. The press. Harvey Elliott. Pacayos. We need to wait for us to be able to get more pressure on their back line before we play that ball. Harper, you can just let that go. I think Edwards had that defended. Well, I do appreciate Harper trying to devour every ball in the air. I'm getting sacked, brother. That first goal is incredibly frustrating. And to lose is frustrating because we absolutely controlled the, the, the game against Brazil. Yeah, I'm good. It's Nobody cares about this tournament anyways. My superstar world-class striker got a 6.1. My world-class playmaker got a 6.4. My goalkeeper got a 6.4. Wasn't our day. We have partnered with Woking. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Milson was in that team. Milson was in the uh, Brazil team. Trying to get the last laugh. Oh, oh, great. I have Nations League in friggin' 12 days. Are you serious? I have the Nations League semifinal. Against Germany. Where is San Marino when I need them? All right, if we win the Nations League, then I think we're fine. But if I go out here and lose to Brazil and then lose my first match in the Nations League knockouts as well, that's just not thats not the hot start we would have been hoping for as the England manager. That means it's time for your Taunton. Taunton's hell. Transfer show. Two brilliant signings joining the club here today. The first one, solving a problem that has long been a problem at this club. A man in the English national team that I now coach. And a man with a funny name who will hopefully make a lot of huge saves. He loves big matches. 
He's played over 200 top-level matches in England. It's Ted Kerr! Purchased for a cool six million as well. But you know, I know, we all know, he's not the main attraction. Because there is another problem we had on this team. Goalkeeping and what? You might ask, goal scoring is the answer. Goalkeeping and goal scoring. Well, how do you solve a goal scoring problem? You find the 20 year old leading goal scorer in the Danish league and you buy him for $9 million. He's a Serbian national. He's already valued at up to $88 million. One kiss is all it takes. Dominic Kiss. Welcome to the team. What a machine. He is a machine. Comes deep to get the ball. He's able to lay it off, off the ball. Pace, size, finishing, touch. Yes. Dominic Kiss, our other big signing. Let's send him both on intensive language courses. We, of course, already have a Serbian in the starting 11. And not really hard to transition an English guy to another English club. Brilliant. All right, I should scout the U19 and U21 European Championships. Check the Uruguayan 17-year-old defensive midfielder. Okay. So you were the guy that I forgot about. Very keen on joining Taunton. Okay, I agree. And let's get this offer going. Two million, how about 1.5? Nah, 1 1.3. Disgusting. This is what happens when I don't play for like five days, I always forget something. That was a pretty good thing to forget. You guys literally just saved us. Because we have known that guy, we've targeted that guy. He is, you know, one of our dreamboat players. And um, definitely a guy that we, we want to bring in. Hey, Fonseca scored for Spain. And now Bulo and Fonseca are back to being the highest paid players. David Bulo's glow up when it comes to his contract with this match highest earner is insane. And we can't renegotiate with him. We tried already. I ain't even finished one week of scouting. We're gonna we're gonna go in though. I'm gonna agree to everything you just said in order to have you on our team. I I don't know how his interest is gonna be, but we are assuming that these we got to move now. We'd have to sell maybe multiple players to make this possible. But I just want I want to get an offer down that like is acceptable to Matthew Davies. And I believe this offer might be acceptable to Matthew Davies. Uh, sell on fee percentage, no. Relegation release clause, zero. All right. We have an offer accepted for Matthew Davies. He's our interest right now. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Oh, showtime. I think Declan was good. I'm glad Jude is back. Folds wasn't good. L let's run that back because I think there's a different version of this game where we feel really good about everything. The semifinal of the Nations League, England and Germany. In an effort to win a European trophy for England. Very good, Reese James flying forward, wing pressure, targets in the middle, Foden in a dangerous pocket. Pass deflected. That is an amazing save. I am very frustrated that got through. Edwards was literally right in front of him. That's a huge save for Murray.
Come on, bro. Just letting him get to it. Pocketed by one of their attacking players. Oh, there you go. He was off, though. Oh, what a pass by Phil Foden! Oh. Really? The Nations League rules are different from the finalissima? I don't have a sub. Blackburn's going to end up in a 5.5, .5, dude. Or he scores, because this is another opportunity to just play him in. That was a sick touch. You had the underlap, Blackburn. All right, Tyreek. Jude. That's a corner. That literally hit a guy in Germany in the chest, but we'll just move on. Tyreek Mitchell, second consecutive game. He's had a bad, bad giveaway caught on the ball situation. Whoa. Goalkeeper seemed a little unaware of what was going on there. I can't believe how low of a rating Robbie Blackburn has. I, I actually can't believe it. This is Romelu Lukaku against uh, freaking... Who were they playing in that match? Their last match. Croatia. All right? I have an extra sub. Oh, okay. An unsure Kofi Adai is surely better, right? Like we... Oh, I motivated him. All right, cool. Uh... All righty. Half time of extra time. Havertz is on a 6.0, so I'm not the only person struggling with the really unbelievably bad performance. Tyrick Mitchell, please pass it. That's actually a brilliant play by Tyrick Mitchell. We are by their front four. Jude, trying to not use that advantage as much as possible, has then given the ball right back to them. Does that guy have anything left? He's exhausted. Ref. No, he just can't score, which is kind of funny because we have uh, brilliant attacking players in a pretty offensive formation. So, I, if Robbie Blackburn's going to drop 5.8s, we're not even going to qualify for the Euros, dude. We haven't scored a goal in uh, two matches. We just have not scored a single goal. Oh, there's a third place playoff. Will you just leave me alone? Nobody gives a sh about third place in the Nations League, okay? Why do third place playoffs exist? Unless it's the Olympics, nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You're just going to waste my time. Now I got to go play an angry France after they get upset by a bar like a parked bus of Portugal, right? Like now I have to do that. Why does nobody want him? He's young, he's talented. And nobody wants him. Oh wow, he wouldn't react well to being transfer listed or anything. Okay. If we were going to get rid of him, we would need to uh, go nuclear. Third place game. Who won? Uh, oh, France next extra time. Okay. We play Portugal for third in the Nations League. Okay, Darby, do you have... Uh, you have nothing in the war chest? No joke, but Zealand is also the biggest island in Denmark. Beach is almost... All right, let's... <laughs> Let's get this over with. Third place game. Watch me win at 5-0. Be like, yes, well, this doesn't matter, so we're going to dominate. Go out and control this game, okay? 
They still have Rafael Leal and Pedro Neto and Vitinha and Nuno Mendes. Ruben Diaz, Antonio Silva, Diogo Costa, Chago Santos. They've got all the dudes. Okay. Adai instead of Blackburn. Obvious switch. Oh, there you go. Tyrick Mitchell, Jaden Sancho. Jude. it back to him. Good. Foden. Good. Kofi Adai! And it's 2-0 to England! And a first England goal for Kofi Adai. Foden. Oh! Alright, Jude. Hey, Jude. Oh my goodness, Kofi Adai! He almost had a brace. The pass. Ah. Still. We went on to the field and beat Portugal. That is always a nice accomplishment. A good 2-0 for England. Uh, we aren't going to win the Nations League, but we have finished in third place with a... Pretty convincing, in-control, 2-0 result right there. It's my job at England insecure. I don't know. Yes. They are slightly disappointed, which means we are going to have to show up in World Cup qualifying and win. And we have freaking Wales in our group, who's really good. So that's nice. That's great. Really looking forward to that. First match, Wales. Yes! Away! Great. I'm getting fired, dude. We're getting fired. Welsh Golden Generation, first match is Wales away. Oh man, City attracted 266 million from their sponsors. We've enjoyed a small reputation boost. Really, still the lowest Premier League team. So that's good. But we have passed all but four championship teams. So that is also good. Welcome to the team, dude. Welcome to the team. How you doing? Another nice signing as we build a core of tremendous young players. <laughs> Uruguayan 18-year-old from Liverpool the football club, you know? All we got to do is just say Liverpool. Where is he from? Liverpool. Fruz value to 12 to 15 million. He might actually be somebody that's worth throwing out there. His value is rocketed up. Nottingham Forest just put down 8 million for Nick Fru. If we can negotiate that up, then I am feeling very, very bullish on a Nick Fru sale. Please keep it open. Oh. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Give me that same window again. We'll look for 15. Gur for greedy? No, it's all right. See, they're back again. And now I'll throw something they won't reject, which is seven. Okay. I gotta shut up, don't I? But there's value in the sale of Nick Frew right now. Hot commodity, regular player for the uh, Irish team. There's the offer. All right, 15 hard lock. Take it. How much money are you asking for exactly? Because I am now very afraid that it might be a truly dramatic amount of money that he is trying to get. I'm a little scared of Petter Patrick right now. Because how much money is he asking for if Darby County, who should have a lot, is not able to meet it? <laughs>